how are we? Hi, how are you? in the dream, man. Pretty crazy, crazy place, this, huh? <laughs> Pretty crazy place, this. Oh, yeah. mad situation. Is this your first convention? First, yeah. Yeah, it is. And, uh, wow. <laughs> Back, so yeah, 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 yeah. What a treat! In at the end of the deep end. Yeah, definitely uh, try to you know walk around. It's just pretty oh ridiculous. man, yeah, I'm excited. That's sort of. I mean, we're only getting started. Oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't even seen anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, seen yeah, so I'm already overwhelmed. Well, all terms of drought, and some of seen all of us seen a few other places would ask questions like the viewers and those who haven't seen it yet. So uh, Kwame and Division have a very, very uh, interesting meet cue. And Kwame seems immediately intent upon, um, you know, taking uh, revenge. You know, immediately yeah. on the beach, and yeah, we're yeah. going to see some more complications between the two of them in the later episodes. Um, possibly, <laughs> possibly, possibly for sure. I mean, at this point, Kwame's main goal is to get as close as he can to the mission, um, then see what he can do with. With in that moment, um, he definitely has something out for him. Uh, he does want to hurt him really bad and has a very bad relationship to him. And it's the eyes, he hates his eyes. It's the eyes, it's, I don't know. As soon as he saw your eyes, he was like, Yeah, that's the guy. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, in the same way, like I think Domitian is uh, in the same way that you look at me and you're like, that's happening, yeah, yeah, taking yeah. him down. I think I, I feel Domitian feels not me, obviously. Domitian feels the same way about you, I'm afraid, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think I think you can expect things to amp up. Is all I'll say about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So does it seem like the world expands in the second season? Do you know all these people now? Is it more epic in scale? In the second season. Yeah, I was about to say, I think we've got <laughs> 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 she's, she's pushing it into Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, wait, do you know something? Sorry, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she's manifesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, yes, please. Oh, I love <laughs> that. Can I blame it on not having coffee yet? Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Tell me. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's Royal and Emmerich, so it's expansive and it's huge, and the world that, we, that he created is... I don't know, to speak for both of us here, but I think it's a, very, it's a fun playground. Yeah, and it's, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a big, big world. It's a big world with, with so many characters who kind of give you the chance to explore different sides of the Roman Empire. You know, he being the, the son of the emperor, me being a, a slave who gets into the gladiatorial world, and then you have the charioteers, and you have the people who kind of just run the streets of Rome. So it's quite fun that you get to see like different levels of of life, you know, different walks of life in a way, um, and that was all obviously created by Roland and, and Robert Roda, who kind of, this is why I really like the show, we've seen Rome many times, but this has kind of given us a different look on what really goes down in, 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 the, in the dirty underbelly. I think one of the really exciting parts of it is that it's like, it, it's obviously huge, huge in scale, and, and a lot of what Roland does is, is take these massive, expansive things. And then he's also got this incredible eye for detail. So there's also like, he zooms in on tiny, the tiniest little moments in a really interesting way. And I, I think that's part of what makes this series so cool. Yeah. I, I have a quick question. The goal of your character is to get his sisters back. And I, the one thing I thought was a little nebulous to me, at least when I was watching it, is this, I'm assuming your characters or your family's from Northern Africa. Did they ever actually say where and what specific language are you speaking? So that's the thing, when you look into the North African history, a lot of it was kind of, well, they say lost. Um, that's what they say. But okay. you know there's a different story to that. Um, but when you dive in into North Africa, North Africa was like a whole ensemble of, which now is basically Libya, Morocco, Algeria. So it was a very much a very concoction of, of a place. And what split them up was the tribes. You know, there was different tribes speaking different languages. So for this show, specifically what we, me and the dialect coach, Ben, who is an absolute genius, he kind of created a language which infuses all these different tribes. So even was, though... Okay, because I was going to say, it sounded kind of familiar. Like it I sounds gonna, familiar. Right. So the language that we, he created was called Nwangili. Okay. And Nwangili kind of sounds like Swahili. Swahili, that's what exactly. I thought. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. why are they speaking Swahili exactly. in Northern Africa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you really look into what we were actually saying, the language doesn't it, really exist, yeah, but it just okay. comes from that type of sound because that was the kind of sound that was you know, moving North Africa at the time. I'm sure there was many different other sounds because the tribal language back then, you could only imagine 
how far it went, you know, from, you know, you have the Zulu language, you have Afrikaans, it was like a whole mix of that. So Ben, who's, a, who's quite a genius, kind of came up with this language that we can kind of share, you know, the moments I have with like, the lion or, you know, with my mom and my sisters, so if that's to answer your question. It did answer my yeah, question, yeah, yeah. thank you. So yeah, yeah. Palmy is this pure, innocent guy, Domitian, he's like... <laughs> Yeah. So manipulative and evil. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about playing your characters? Um, I mean, come on, it's pretty fun to play a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he's not a particularly nice guy. I, you know, I got to watch it, uh, started watching it for the first time at the same time everyone else did, and uh, instantly I was like, oh. I mean, heck, man, I can't remember being this nasty. He's <laughs> real. He's, a, he's not a nice guy. Um, but you know, that's uh, at the same time, that is really fun. I, I think what makes him, I think what I love about playing Mission is that he's layered and he's textured, and there's a lot of there's a lot of depth to him. He's not just your two-dimensional bad guy who's sort of going, oh, ha, 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 yeah, kill that bloke. <laughs> no, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on, and it was really important to me to like sort of start from him as a kid and build up how is this this boy growing up in an ins in a, an insane position that no one can really relate to in a time that was 2,000 years ago and then you look at him when he's uh, historically an emperor um, later on uh, in his life and he did some pretty insane things he would probably be no thought of as one of the sort of tyrant one of the kind of mad emperors um, and it was important to me to be like, how, how, how does it has to be real? It still has to feel real um, to, to like a modern audience. And I think that's I think I got there by sort of going through those layers and building them up, which made him super fun to play. Mark, <laughs> I mean, when I was reading the script and I was reading about Kwame, I felt very sorry for the kid, man. I said, oh, this guy's just going through it from day one. Every time he thinks he's got a way out. His sisters are involved in something now, so he feels responsible that he needs to take charge. And then when he tries to do the right thing, his mom's like, why did you do this? And he goes, I did it for the family. And she goes, oh, you stupid boy. I mean, like, you know, like, he just never can get things right. Um, but it was super fun playing like a very pure spiritual person who's like into, you know, he's, he's very into his animals. He believes in the mother nature and mother earth. And that is something that kind of excites me to play, you know, because it's, it's, it's something that I don't really get to experience in my personal life because I'm quite scared of animals and <laughs> not the most spiritual person but uh, <laughs> yeah um, but it's also cool to have a character like this especially in the Roman Empire and in this show where everyone's trying to do each other over so it's nice to just have just a kid who's just very genuine and trying to do the right thing and yeah it was that's, that's, that was my take on Kwame and let's do one last question I have a question if you were a Roman deity which one would you be or what would you be the god of? Mm. Uh, me personally or Domitian? You personally. Oh. <laughs> um, I'll probably I'll try and you know, I'll try and take it away from an actual Roman god, uh, <laughs> uh, modernize it a little bit. Love to be a sort of deity of uh, you know, basically keeping it real, <laughs> chilling out, having a good time, and relaxing. You know, I'd, I'd be that's the, the, the guy of wine. That's the yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Bacchus. Yeah. yeah, well, Bacchus. That's a bit more. That's a bit more. He's a bit more party. That's a sort of party yeah. animal. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying party. I'm talking about more like you know, hanging out, Bacchus chilling on the chill. sofa, yeah, yeah. relaxing, yeah. taking the load <laughs> off, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. The There's sort of ch ch chill backers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have one, but that's someone I would have wanted to be. Because, as I said, Kwame, man, this guy's going through it. I just want <laughs> to. I just, I just want to chill in Rome. You know, when I was watching the show and I got to see the sets that they were working on, and you know, the imperial platform and the, the houses. I was like, that's where I want to be, man. Yeah, I want to yeah, be. Yeah, I did a lot. Of, yeah, you know, so my own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, yeah, both of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I just, I've just, I've had a horrible time in Rome. I just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I personally had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Let's see you.